I think it's like the best method. Just hear me out real quick, man. Maybe I might, I might, be, I might be on to something, but I think I could I could really strategize this out fully. It's not what I took because I have my own online business, but I think starting a business is, is very difficult. So I don't like to, I don't, I don't want to consider it the meta. But I think this way, if you take this path through life, starting from maybe like 17 to now, start take this path to like 17 to 30, you'd be, you'd be stamped. Do this shit every day, man. Like, if I was to restart and I was a single guy living in America or in a first world country, I would definitely do this shit. Mm. First, I graduate high school. Get to that, that bullshit. There's two paths you could take. You can go to college, but I will go to maybe like a community college. Um, I'll go to a community college. Something cheap. I don't want to go into a bunch of debt. I'll, I'll do my first two years in a community college. Stay at home. Stack your money. Two, first two years in a community college and then second two years in like uh, a better school. You know, take on some debt at this point. But it's, it's less. Get my degree in, in some skill. It would have to be either business, uh, business or some skill with technology. Because why, why I would suggest you do this, I, I, would, I prefer like technology, like coding, engineering, just because you can have the, because the goal is to get a remote job. And this, if I was to adapt to like this world right now, I would definitely go for a remote job. And there are some remote jobs where you don't need to have a degree or anything like that, but get a degree and get a remote job after. And maybe even if it's a lesser paying remote job, maybe you're making like 40, 50 K. Cause we see what the average college student is making after they graduate. Like, you don't even have to go for a six-figure remote job. Just get your four-year degree and go for a job making like a remote job making maybe 50, 60, 70K or even 40, 50, 70K. But it has to be 100% remote. 100% remote. And after that, if it's 100% remote, live overseas. Move overseas. So now you're like, this is if you took the college role. You're, maybe you're like 21, 22, get your passport and live in a country overseas, maybe in South America, Brazil, Argentina, Colombia. Live overseas and work overseas. This way you have all the benefits and income of an American and you have the expenses of someone who's living in Colombia. So you're not getting hammered by the economy of America. So now while you're doing this, do all the things that you should do as a man. You should be building your credit, saving your money, meeting people, networking, having as much experiences as possible during this time, going to the gym, building yourself, everything. And then after that, while you're saving all that money, invest into things in America buy properties because now you, you don't you can save a lot of people always say like damn how am i supposed to save they expect me to get this job and then buy a home and yada 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 then they're always thinking like how the fuck am i supposed to save money to buy this home or how am i supposed to save this money to invest into things if you're living overseas you should be able to save money expenses are cut crazy crazily and then save money and invest into america invest still and keep your investments in america this is like a basic plan, like buy investment property, invest in stocks, and all your savings is invested, 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 and your expenses are, should be so low. It's just like, a, this is easy. This is easy, easy, easy. Like you have nothing to worry about. I feel like, man, you rack up some crazy debts and expenses in America, and you don't, it's just, you know, it's comfortable. But you have to sacrifice. You are going to end up sacrificing when you do something like this, like, I sacrifice connect, uh, friends, family, and time with them for this. But you're a man. You got to do what you got to do it in your life to be successful. I want to say this was my plan for this reason. I say I wanted to travel when I initially was traveling just for experiencing the world and seeing the world. But I feel like now, like, 
if I was to restart, I definitely would have took this path. Like, I would have probably went one or the other, tried to start an online business at 17. So I'm 17 to maybe 20, build it up. And while doing working on my online business, or if I wasn't doing that, I was going to finish college. But while I was in college, make a bunch of connections. Make as many connections as possible. Make a bunch of friends. Then get a remote job and live overseas. Just like that. That way you're able to, you're basically, it's like a hack almost to a sense. Like you're, you're able to earn this much, but then spend this much. And basically live almost the same lifestyle except for you're sacrificing your friends and family. And shit. At some point as a man, as an adult, you gotta be able to go on and do your own thing. But yeah, I definitely would suggest that. If you're a kid right now, like 17, you ever had a plan? I definitely think you should go to college, make a bunch of connections. After you graduate from college, get a remote job, 100% remote. Live overseas for a couple of years, stack your money and experience life. Don't just, it's just like, well, you, you can't, it's hard to stack your money when you want to experience your life at the same time, but overseas you can do that. And then after you do that, invest. You can buy a home. Invest into things, invest into, into stocks. I don't want to get into specifics, I'm not a financial advisor, but just invest. Just invest. Invest on to, to whatever you see, take risks. You can take more risks now too because you have more money to spend and you're younger. And then, when something blows up and you're in a better position, you have a lot of things stacked up, you want to come back? Come back. <laughs> and come back. Come back and do your thing. That's what I suggest. Meta, and I think uh, I've done this in my own way. Just had a different path because, you know, I was in a relationship. I wasn't a single man, but I definitely have a full blueprint for this in both ways. Like finding the jobs, finding the jobs or businesses that you can get involved in that are easier to cash flow and, and places to live and how to live overseas for from this country to this country to this country very easily. Got a full blueprint for this. Um, think about, I'm considering like, even considering releasing it and sharing it. And I even like getting the degree, I want I know to make that easier too. That's a big secret, like, like uh, even getting that degree, like I know how to make that real easy for you. I know how to make that real easy. So you know, like all this shit is just like, you have the knowledge of it, it's pretty much foolproof, like, like dummy proof it isn't, but it's a lot of uh, taking advantage of loopholes and systems. So, take advantage, you've been born in that country, you have the opportunity to make higher incomes, take advantage. That's the message I have right now, take advantage of what, you, what you've been blessed with. So yeah, for sure, I'm gonna say it one more time, if I just want to, or this clip this or whatever 17 years old graduate high school single if you're single because fuck that whoever you with at the time fuck that do this you got two choices start on a business at 17 grind it out learn as much you need to learn from 17 to 20 or go to college make a bunch of friends do two years in community college and then to do two years in a, a, a you know the better like a state school get a degree a four year degree just a bachelor's don't need nothing crazy Get a job making thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a year. You're single, don't have much responsibility. Well, I put your degree to get a job that's completely one hundred percent remote. When you have the degree, it makes it much easier for you to get a job. It's just it is what it is. But you can get remote jobs without a degree, but the degree just makes it easier. Now, as you get that one hundred percent remote job, go live overseas. Live overseas in some country in South America, so you're in a similar time zone. Then save your money and enjoy your life at the same time and take care of your body, take care of your health. That's just like a service level explanation. And then after one or two years of doing that, you should have a bunch of money saved, saved up. You should have had so much experience in your life, maybe even know another language. And come back if you want, if you want. Come back to the country with your, while you're living overseas, investing into properties, investing into things, because so now you're able to actually save money to invest. And you can save money and experience life. That's one thing. Like people can't do the both. They they end up sacrificing their. Some people end up sacrificing most of their life, and then 
then when they're old as shit, they get to experience life. Like, nobody wants to be 60 and, and fucking, like, you know, like, fucking could barely move or have sex. After, and you now you want to experience life. Who the fuck wants to be 60 years old with a bunch of money? Like, nah, go overseas, man. Go overseas, experience that. Oh, that's for the guys, man, because shit, I feel like a woman could just go through life with no responsibility and their meta is just being pretty, honestly. That's the, if you were if you're pretty, you go find a way. Just put yourself in areas where people have more money and get approached by somebody with more money, and you'll be fine. But if you're a guy, you got to make it for yourself. So and that's the meta for the guys, man. If you took the online business route at seventeen, go through all your shit, fail a lot, have a job while you're seventeen as well. Try many online businesses, many ways to make money online. Fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, fuck up up until you're like twenty, twenty one. You know, don't do the don't. I don't suggest like living overseas any any age younger than twenty one. And then fuck up as much as you can with your online businesses, because just what you're gonna do. You're not gonna be successful off the rip, or you may be successful and fail, but you're gonna fuck up a lot. And after you fuck up, just you you'll probably have that spark after four years of trying. You know, make, you're making a decent amount of money, maybe where you can make, like I said, in that thirty, forty, fifty, sixty or more range. Profit a year. Go ahead, go overseas. Cut your expenses. Do it for you're a business owner, so do it for maybe two years, so you can have your taxes together and your numbers right, and then do the same thing. Invest into real estate properties. Make your investments. Like you're living overseas with your expenses cut, but then you're investing into things in America for when you do plan to come back. And I think that's just like the, the best strategy right now, as far as if you're maybe, if you're in your 17, 18, especially with the way the economy is going, just take advantage. Take advantage of the visas you have, you have, you can get. Take advantage of everything. Everything. And remember, you get it more than just like a living for cheap. Like you get experiences that most people probably never even Experience most people travel to other countries and think it's just they have to blow one to two thousand dollars because they're on vacation. Like I don't get how people can go to Jamaica and spend three thousand dollars in four days when the people who live in Jamaica barely spend two hundred dollars a month. That's the difference. Like if you learn how to actually like be comfortable with a country and learn about a country, you can navigate through there pretty well. But yeah, that's just like some uh, some my advice for today. Cause and it's very important. That's very important. Mm. Little rant, little rant. So what I have aside, I did want to watch.